everybody. Um, hopefully you will be joining me and um, to see some cards made using this new set. Um, well, sweet, really. It's a set plus dies plus paper and um, embellishments and ribbon. Um, it's actually, oh, I meant to get that page ready for you. Um, I will show you that in a second, but um, this is so cute. It's Valentine's Day, but it could be really any time. It's any time you want to tell someone you love them. It doesn't hurt uh, to use something like this. So, um, anyway, I think uh, you don't want to really watch me. Probably more want to see what I'm doing. Um, and where is my... Well, I think it's one of the first pages of this new catalog that just came out. Um, yep, I was right. So this is, um, thank you for joining me. Um, this is the new, um, I guess, well, it's called January to June. Um, uh, what's it called? January to June mini catalog. Okay. And it comes out, to, it came out today. And so these materials are now available as of today. So, um, I just wanted to, to share a bunch. Uh, there's so many really cute ones. I, I just, like usual, I came up with a whole bunch of designs and I just couldn't do them all before our, um, our thing tonight. So, um, I will definitely be using this one again some other time, but for now I have two cards to show you. So yay, Julie's here, James is here. Hopefully other people will join us and I'm trying to unplug my phone here. It's, um, James did me a really big favor and hatched some eggs for me for Pokemon Go. He's a good husband. So, um, all right. And anyway, my battery was starting to go down. So I'm going to flip you down so that you can see and don't mind my desk is a little bit messy, but okay. And way up here in the corner is the host code. If you are interested, um, this is going to be good through the beginning of February, I think. Um, so if you are ordering anything under $150, uh, please use this code. I can add them all together and get the hostess benefits by just by adding them all together. If you are ordering over $150, please keep those free benefits for yourself though. So, but anything, um, you know, every little bit helps. It really does add up. So if you can help out by that, that'd be awesome. Now here are the pages for the sweet talk suite, which is, I love puns and plays on words. So this, um, these are some of the cards made by it, but here are the tools and things that we'll be using. So I have the stamp set and the dies. I have not gotten the couple of these other items yet, but I did get this, uh, designer series paper. It's very cute. Good colors. So I'm going to be, um, showing you a few things. So let me first show you this paper. It's so pretty. All right, so I love this, how um, you can cut these out, and I'll show you. This one looks like lollipops, various kinds. Um, you know what, let me show this side. It's got these lots of hearts, different colors and textures. Um, I have a cool idea for this one, but haven't used it yet. This one has some neat lollipops too, um, as well as some hearts and candy and then here's a lot a lot of hearts red hearts and then we have the other side which are really cool too I really like this Heather Highland Heather so don't those look good together and then this is kind of like I think it's petal pink actually underneath with some real red dots and then this one was really pretty too I decided to use these three together in a card here in a minute and this is petal pink, kind of a marbly looking color or uh, texture. And then this is stripes with a very a variety of the colors that are in here. So that was really pretty paper. I am going to 
I don't want to say focus on that, but it is going to be a little bit of a focus. Here is the, um, the, uh, stamp set. I'm sorry. The words are not coming to my mind very quickly or easily. Um, good. I'm glad you got this sweet too. It's, uh, I mean, I not always into Valentine's, but, or, or hearts or anything like this, but I really thought this was a good one to try. Um, it's, it's been a while and I thought maybe I could even make some to sell. Who knows? Um, all right. So the first card Yeah. All right. I'm going to do this one. All right. So first off, I use the, this is Highland Heather. And I folded it in half. All right. Then I have, um, this isn't a terribly difficult card or anything, but I used that. So I cut this into four inch this is four inches, which fits. It's got a little bit of space on all. Well, that's not a good example. Um, here, this is, see how there's a little bit at the top and the bottom. Um, but this is the most efficient use of the paper because I can get three out of it. Three rows of four because it's 12 by 12, if that makes sense. So uh, the width of this is one and a three quarters, which just about works straight across like that. All right, so I decided to cut them like this. I wanted some texture, and I'm going to just add those down. With my, oh, I like to have my silicone mat, and then this is my new stamp and seal. I haven't used it yet. I just put it in there, put the refill in there. Okay, so we'll add that. And we'll do on this side too. So. Oh, I think someone else joined us. Please say hi. We'd love to say hi back. Um. Sometimes my comments, the comments don't show up on my screen very well, but um, I have a feeling, I think my mom was, had some other things going on tonight, so I don't know if it's her. I am so appreciative of my most dedicated family and friends here. I do really appreciate this, and I'm sure other people look at this later. Um... So there we go. So I've put that in there. It fits just right. Um, now what I wanted to do is to make some little, um, envelopes, I guess they would be. So, uh, this comes with, among other things, um, it has a nice tag, has a couple different tags, actually a lot of hearts. I haven't used those yet. I have some bigger hearts. And then I have this one that's like an envelope. Now this is cool because it cuts and embosses. So you can see how it's got like these lines, score lines, basically. All right. So now one of these is a little bit shorter, if that makes sense. Does that look like a little bit shorter than that? It's probably a little bit hard to tell, but um, that I am interpreting as um, the... Uh, the top, the piece that would come down to seal it kind of thing. Okay. And I'm not sure. Maybe this would be better to go this way. Yeah. I like how that presses in. All right. So this is actually not too hard to put together. I tried putting um, a glue dot here and you definitely could do that, but I also put two glue dots on this one and I felt like that was probably enough. All right, so um, when you do the glue dots, I press that in and peel that off. And I can do that again a little bit on the side there. So this is the flap that comes up from the bottom. All right, so that's got two. And then I keep that closed. 
and I close that securely. It seems to, to stay. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I think this one's the smaller one. So I'm going to do this. Okay. And I will glue that. See? Going pretty quickly so far. All right. So I'm going to close that up. All right, so now I've got two cute little envelopes. All right. Now, um, I wanted to have a message, and I did stamp. Um, well, I want to stamp. Um, Happy Valentine's Day. That's what I'm going to do on this one. So I have, I looked at this paper. I was inspired by the paper. I liked this purple kind of as a background, but then I wanted, I noticed that the red really stood out, so I decided to do the envelopes in the red. But I also have this Blushing Bride. And I'm, that's going to be enough contrast between real red ink and blushing bride, this strip. So I'm just going to gently straight up and down. You don't want to rock this at this, these skinny ones. All right. And I'm going to put, hopefully I can't see what I'm doing here very well from this angle, but it's not bad. I think I might try that again though. A little bit better. All right. So, oh, wait, I'm going to leave this open for something. Okay. So that's, um, let's use my paper snips. I am going to cut it at an angle, a little bit different. So this is going to kind of give us a little imply some movement. And I also wanted to kind of think of it as like, you know, the, um, the point of the hearts, maybe. I mean, that was a little bit of a stretch there, but I don't know. So, all right. So I've got this and I think I'm going to put it way down here. And then let's see. Yeah, I'm going to secure that. All right. So I like how that's standing out at least in the purple part. All right. And then this is going to go something like that before I'm not going to glue them down yet. Now I want to put something coming out of my envelopes. So, um, a couple of things. I have this awesome, well, this paper that has all the hearts in it, the bigger hearts. It's here somewhere. Okay. Here, this one. So I like, um, sweet, what are they? Sweethearts? They're not sweet tarts. They're... No, they're not smart. What are these things called? Well, I'm blanking right now on that, but I'm cutting out a section and you could, you could fussy cut it. Or if you have these dies, this is the cool part that can, um, you can use that to cut things out. All right, so I'm cutting out a chunk because I'm going to use my handy dandy. Um, what's this called? Cut and emboss machine. This is the mini though. All right. Um, okay, so I'm going to use the plate one and then two of these plate cutting plates. There are two. You see how it says a two on it? All right, so I'm going to put one there. Um, now, I have this piece that should fit through that. Can you see? There. All right, so it can fit through there. And I'm going to move that ink pad before I get something in it. So, all right, here, um, these dies will fit. Let me do this so you can see it better. All right, so these actually fit on the, um, right over the heart, so they're the right size. So let's see. Um, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to fit with this 
one right there. So I might, um, I might just hold off on that one. It's okay. I already have a bunch cut out, so it's not the end of the world if, if I only get a couple here. I just really want to show you how this works. All right, so I've got those, and then I'm going to ease that in, and I found if it is, it's almost hard, too hard to, but having this extra bit when it's not quite lined up does seem to help me get it through the, there we go, to get it started here. Okay, and then we come out on the end, the other side, and here I have cut out a heart and conversation hearts. That's what these are. Gosh, you can tell I still need to get more sleep. Um, all right, so here are some hearts. I have already cut out some other hearts. So, all right, so I've got, you're cute, hug me. Now, I didn't want to put this yellow on here because why would, why do you think? Anybody have an idea? I think that, uh, oh, mom is here. That's good. So I don't think that that works because there is no other yellow in this entire thing. So I am not using that one, but there is this color and this color and then i was thinking well okay that's good i got two um but i really need another color and i'm looking at this i could either make them textured or make it red and i could make i, I could make textured i just didn't um but i think i'm going to just have it be something like this And they'll be overlapped a little bit. I'm going to make a red one. So this didn't ever have any red ones at all. But fortunately, there is a way to do it. So I have this stamp that says love you. All right. And then there is a, this one doesn't match that one. But there is one that is um, the right shape for this. There it is. All right. So there. Um, so I used Versamark on some white and I'm going to, I'm going to stamp on this one. Okay. So it is a good idea to use your Stampin' Buddy, which is this resin kind of thing, um, to help keep the static off. It's this is not as critical because it's a small item, but um, we are going to heat emboss. It's a heat re resist, really. The heat emboss resist is how we're going to do this. So I'm going to stamp that in verse mark. And yes, you cannot see it. I don't think you can. Maybe you can see that a little bit when I move it. And then I have clear embossing powder. So you're still, you're going to see only because now there's some powder. Can you see it? Gosh, there it is. Kind of hard to tell. Can you see that with the powder has stuck to the sticky ink? All right. So now with the magic of TV, I have now, pretend I have heat embossed it. Okay. And then, um, you like my sound effect? All right. So right here I have melted it and can you see maybe oh come on light see if it can pick it up i have two right here well it'll show up in a second so i um this way i can make the words like these where the lettering is white okay and the edges are white so let's see let me find here's the heart that goes with that shape it's a little bit stretched out all right so i'm going to stamp this with the real red and I'm going to try to line it up so that all right I'm close not quite but good enough I guess um 
All right, so then there is still some ink on the lettering, so I'm going to just take a little bit of the tissue and wipe that off. So it does, um, I mean, I could let that dry a little bit more probably and not have that bleed, but I'm going to cut that out anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, all right, and so there is this one that fits quite nicely. Okay, so I've done that, and here I have it. Put it through, just like I did the other one. All right, so here I have Love You, okay? Just like, pretty close to these. I mean, they're not the same, but now I can have, I can stick to this color scheme, all right? Um, now I always do like to have some kind of embellishment. So I think what I will do, actually, this is going to be kind of framed, if you will. So I'm going to have a couple elements here, but it's also going to bring your eye like that. All right. So from the top left to the bottom left, right. Um, so let's see if I attach those something like that. And then what I want to do is have something right here too. So what I have is um, this ribbon. Let's see. It comes with some black and white baker's twine in a, a little set. It came with the, it was a kind of paper that had um, pets all over it that this went with, but they continued to, they continued these and this continued the paper, but the, this dotted red ribbon and the um, black and white ribbon, which, um, yeah, I think I've, I ended up getting more. Here's the two that they come together because I ran out of the black. I really liked it, um, the black and white, but I still have a lot of this red and white left. So I thought, oh, there's a lot going on in this. There really is. But I thought, here's our chance. Here's our chance. So, um, so I make a little loop, I wrap it around the tip of my thumb, and then I make another little loop that's going to go through that hole where my thumb was. Then you take both of those loops and kind of pull it, and then you can adjust these a little bit. All right. So then I'm going to put that right here. Okay, and that's a little too long there, so I'm going to snip it. All right, so that'll go somewhere like that, okay? And that way, that's a little bit, but I still feel like I could use some more bling. So um, let me just get those attached before we go too far. I kind of feel like it would be great to have more than three. But um, I also think you need a, an odd number. So um, and I do need some for my other card. So, and I already have Hug Me. I don't know if we need that so many times. So um, I think I'm just going to stick with three. All right, so that'll be attached something like that. But that'll be my focal point. I think that's pretty clear um, as far as that goes. Let me glue these down. Um, okay. And then this one <clears throat> can have the, the yeah. No. Did I have one? Oh, I thought there was another one. Swear there was another purple one. I don't think this was it. Hmm. Hmm. Very, very strange. Oh, it's hiding. That's why. Silly me. All right. So let's put some 
adhesive on the back and then a little adhesive on the back of this. This I was thinking, this is something you could go, like I put it inside and I almost lost it, but if you wanted to put that on something, a little paper that came out, then you could put another little mini message in there. That would be really fun. Um, all right, so I'm going to do that and then attach it, something like that. Okay, and then this can go there, the glue dot. Kind of bring attention to the word. And then last but not least, we have this little love you thing. So that is kind of get, get raised up as it is. I think I'm just going to attach it with the glue dots on both of these lobes, basically. All right, and then that'll go kind of get framed here. So um, this is fine like that, but I do want to add a little bit more bling. Um, this is... Um, some good red, but I would like to add some more. So here we have our red rhinestones. And I wanted to show you, I've been very lazy with this Take Your Pick tool, but there are lots of things that you can do. This is that putty that you can lift, uh, do sequins with, but I wanted to show you how there's, it's a locking mechanism here, and it's got a lock that's locked and a lock that's unlocked. So if I turn that and then I take that out, then I have this other tool this point, you know, piercing tool, but I think, um, I'm going to actually, I was like, when am I going to use a spatula, this spatula thing? And I think this actually would work quite nicely this way. So if I were to scooch this under one of these, then I could take this over here and move it over. Maybe this is one way to do it. We could use a, the piercing tool or a pin or whatever, but um, I'm going to put this right like where these meet, sort of at the top of that curve, and then that's two, which is fine, but I'm going to put another one right here to kind of go with the, the words. And it is somewhat of a scaling triangle, and this kind of turned out to be. So there is my first card. Uses a lot of textures and bright colors. Well, I don't know. I guess they're more some bright, some pastel. So that's my first card. Um, my second card, I'm hoping this will be a relatively quick night. This is using real red and I cut it vertically and I have some, um, like I said, I have some other ideas for this that I wanted to show you. So I did already score one, but I want to show you using the, this, um, you can use the, there's a scoring blade and a actual blade, cutting blade. So at, if you line this up, this is a nifty tool because this is the old version. We have a little bit new, more modernized one, but this one's great too. It's very similar. Um, so you can use this, I lined it up to five and a half and then I can use that to score and then I can fold that in half very easily and I've got a perfect card there. So, you know, I feel like you're closer to the action today. I think I did mess around with my, um, garden stakes stand here. So I probably kind of made that so it's too close. That's my guess. I also figured out something so it won't slide, but in a way I think it needs to slide this way a little more. Okay. So here I have, let me move this. Okay. So, all right. I liked this paper, which is, there it is. This had a lot of fun candy on it. I actually really liked the purple ones and I liked this, the pink striped ones and those were fun. And all these other little bit of, a little bit of color in the paper it wasn't just red and pink. Um, 
So this is a four by four inch square, but I wanted to, I could put it on there like that, but it's a little bit on the boring side. So I thought, well, how can I do this to be a little bit interesting? So I thought, oh, if I did it something like this, all right. So if I made this go all the way down and then I'm going to cut like about an inch in, if that makes sense. So here I've got my, let's put this scoring one out of the way. All right, so remember I pointed out like somewhere about an inch in, and then I'm going to line this up at the bottom here in this groove, all right? And so then I will cut that. All right, so now I have this interesting piece, and I actually want to cut this at a 90 degree angle. So I'm going to use the top of this um, to help. This is an, a 90 degree angle. So I'm going to line up the that point where would be the longest and then I'm going to cut it here. So I should have a 90 degree angle right here. Okay. So hopefully this will make sense in a second why I'd want this very strange shape, but that is going to go right here like that. So it almost looks like a napkin or some kind of, um, I mean, it could be like a tablecloth laying on top of another tablecloth. I'm not sure. It's a little bit abstract here. Um, I was going to use this and just put this here. I could do that too. But I decided that this was too, this is not quite the shade I wanted to use. I wanted to focus on the Blushing Bride instead of the um, Petal Pink. So I have this other piece here. And I'm going to, actually, I think I'm going to attach this because then this is going to go on top of it. Almost like buttoning a coat, if that makes sense. All right, where'd my, okay, so I'm going to attach this. Securely. And by the way, I made this purposely this way instead of this way that folds open um, because the way this would be trimmed didn't make sense. If I was, I, I am putting this on a fold here, but there was this long stretch just seemed like it didn't make sense. So um, I guess it's more of a gut feeling on that. It's hard to explain why I would do that, but there. All right. Um, okay, so then I'm going to have another piece that goes on top of that. Okay, and I wasn't sure how big to make that. So um, I'm going to, let's see, just mark it there and there. And I will put that in the, see, I line that up with the, the groove, the slot there, um, this one down here too. I'll put that down. All right. Okay. So now that's going to kind of overlap that. So I don't know if this makes sense, but it kind of wraps like this. Instead of having this be on, where is it? I did have a piece that I um, rejected. Yeah, here it is. So instead of having a piece like this, um, it just made more sense. Here's my one of my first tries here. See how that kind of doesn't, I don't know, being on a fold, it sort of didn't make sense to me. But this makes a little bit more sense to me. But it's very, very kind of obscure on that. So, all right, I don't know. I think I kind of want this to be more of a um, 90 degree angle here and here, which means I'm off a little bit. So I'm just going to glue it and then I'll trim it. I know that it's just an estimate really. All right. All right. So let's see. Okay. All right. 
and then that will be really easy to trim when I open it up. All right. Okay, so I know that's a little bit unusual, but it does still, too, make your eye flow through there. Now, I wanted this to be almost like a button, all right? And I thought it'd be nice to bring that red back in. Um, so what you can do, not only can you do the, you know, heat emboss and stamp on top of it, but you can stamp, um, gosh, I just had a few, here it is. So you can stamp with the, the words and the, this is a two, two step stamp. So we can have the words and the background. All right, so I'm going to stamp that. Um, I like to put the kind of the outline first. Here's the red. All right, so this is real red. And I'm going to stamp this with You Are Cute. Now I'm going to stamp off. So I want to get an extra piece of scrap ready. I don't want it to be so dark that you can't see the words. All right, so I'm going to stamp it once and then I'm going to stamp it over here. And hopefully, again, I'm looking at it from a weird angle. But being that you can see through these blocks, I think that's a really big plus. All right, so that didn't quite make it as evenly as I thought. I hoped so what I'm going to do is add a little bit of sparkle by using this wink of Stella and I'm going to blend that a little bit so it's really okay so this has this um, the way this distinctive um, the distinct with like a patented name or copyrighted name um, so it looks kind of like this dot matrix kind of thing but if you go over it then you can um, kind of blend it and add sparkle at the same time. So I'm going to wipe off the extra there. And then I did the same thing. I cut it out already. All right. So there's my cut out one. So that's going to be kind of my, my major, my focal point in a way. Okay. Um, but I also wanted to add something different, something non-paper. I'm going to close this before that gets to be a disaster. So I have this white baking twine. Um, it has, let's see, it comes with all of these colors, actually. And the whites and the black are really useful, but we also have um, crumb cake and gray granite, maybe, and very vanilla. So I've made a bow, simple bow, same way as I showed you before, and I'm going to kind of cover this, but it's got some kind of long, kind of long strings, and it's going to kind of cover the knot there. So um, I'm going to raise that up too. So let me actually cut that. Before, you know, so it's not all in the way. All right. Um, oh, darn it. I wanted to try something too. So I really liked how this um, probably would have been done better to do this ahead of time. What you could do is take a marker. So let's see. This has some stripes going this direction. Um, I think I might do that. All right, so I'm going to use the side of it, and I'm going to make some stripes similar to this one, okay? So, they're uneven, that's okay. Just a little something, a little more texture, and it's get, a lot of it's going to get covered up, so it's really not a big deal. All right, let me glue this down. 
it keeps moving on me. Put that down here. And then this is going to go on top of that. Okay. And let's do some glue dots. I mean, dimensionals. All right. And that will go right here. So that's kind of like. Um, I don't know, it makes me think of whiskers almost, right? Okay, so I do want, I mean, you are cute is great, but I also want some other messages. And I have this great little stamp, happy to have you in my life. So I thought that might be nice to have like right around there. Um, but I also wanted to have more of these conversation hearts kind of scattered about. And of course you want to have like an odd number. So I want to bring in some of these colors that are in the background because the other one was kind of simple with only the one um sorry three colors right um so this is you are cute i don't know do i have another blue one i don't but i could kind of you know cover just make it less of a deal here and let's see So this would bring it a little bit more kind of like this and then bring it down to have the words here. Maybe I'll let's see. Although then it covers up that cool swirl candy. Maybe something like this. Sorry, all this arranging. All right, so hopefully that kind of brings it around like this. Now, I wanted this to stand out. So, I mean, it almost doesn't even need it. You could just have these... And then put this on the inside if you wanted to. That would work too. Um, maybe, well, this one has more of the you are cute. And then this text me. I already have a text me. So, I guess there's what? Love you. I don't have love you. That would be nice. Um, anyway, this is the idea, right? It's okay if it says the same thing twice. So... Um, if you wanted to just have that kind of scattered or you can put this message on the front, but, um, I would heat emboss that so that it's white on red. I think that would be very cute. So, or yeah, the idea was going to be here, but now I'm looking at this. I'm like, yeah, I don't know. I'm. But I do want the odd number. All right, well, I don't want to take up all your time. So. Anybody have any thoughts? Oh, hey, Diane, I'm glad you're here. Anybody like the, the spread out ones more? Maybe I'll put this over here. Oh, there's two BFFs. Well, maybe I'll just do... Yeah, I'll just take these, do something like that, three, and call it a day. And then I could put that there. Yeah, I could do that. That's what I'm going to do. Um, all right, so let's just glue that. that. I do see a little issue here. There, can't even tell.
right, and then this. I think I will glue it or uh, heat embossed this on the front. All right, so what I would do is use this stamp, this buddy. And it does put a little bit of a white powder, but that comes right off. And then I'm going to stamp with white ink. And happy to have you in my life. I'll try to get that the most solid ink I can. Okay, and then I have, this is white Stampin' Emboss powder. So I often just leave it in a tray instead of trying to clean it every time, but, um, and I have these nice little powder pals, but um, you could you could use anything like a takeout container or something like that would work too. a little bit more on this side. I think that's some crud in there, don't I? Some lint. All right, so now I will heat boss this. So you, you know, bear with me a little bit on the noise. Right, I'm going to put some more. Okay. Yeah. That H didn't get something that for some reason. I just love seeing that melt, don't you? Look how good that looks. All right, so I think I overthought some of that a little bit. I Please forgive me, but that is basically my card. So, yeah, I really feel like it's barely fitting in this screen here. But um, those are the cards for today. Um, that's getting close to an hour anyway. So I appreciate you guys sticking out with, sticking with me. And I hope that you like them. Um, I know it's a little different, but sometimes you got to show different things. Sometimes you might want to use this wink of Stella actually for, for these too. Now that I'm looking at it, add a little sparkle to your day, right? Make those stand out a little bit. Um, yeah. So, and you don't have to use these just for Valentine's Day, but I did want to show this to you around this time in case, and they don't, you know, you don't have to have, um, a serious love interest for this because it's just about love, right? It's people that are special to you and appreciate them. Okay. Well, that's it for tonight. Um, I hope, uh, you'll come back next Tuesday. I'm going to do some more things. Haven't decided what yet, but, um, I'm hoping I did have to sub today. I might have to sub tomorrow. I haven't heard yet. So, I keep putting off my big chance to, to play. I'm so looking forward to that, but I just have to keep, you know, this time there's so many people out sick that I feel like kind of obligated that I need to help whenever I can or, you know, when I can. So, all right, have a wonderful night. Thanks. See you next week. And don't forget to check out the mini catalog that came out today. I need to put that on the website. I will try to do that tonight. Um, but it is, um, on the stampinup.com website too. I'm going to try to do that right after this. Okay. Thanks. Have a good night. Bye.